What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mafia 3. It's finally out. His mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, a bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Damn. All right, so it's Mardi Gras down in New Bordeaux. And this is chapter or episode one of my Mafia 3 Let's Play. I'm really, really excited about this. And here we go. Uh, put Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, let's uh, find the keys to the truck. So I guess room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Okay, Georgie, hold on, okay? So anyways, it looks like we're starting the game uh, doing the heist mission, which was featured in a trailer. So this is going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. So we're going here. I'm sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He agrees his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, why take the chance? Uh, okay. What, I can kill him if I want? I don't want to kill him. That's not nice. What did he ever do to me? All right, let's see if there's anything in here to take. Anything worth swiping? What? What? I guess I can kill him if I want, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. That's not nice. It's not my fault. Get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. All right. Now, before we get started, I need to go to the menu section. And let's see if I can get to the menu section. And I got to do something real quick. I got to make sure I turn the fucking music off. Because, as most of you know, if I don't, then I'll accidentally end up getting a, a copyright claim. And I do not want a copyright claim. What's sad is the music is really awesome. And uh, it's something I'm definitely going to have to come back and let's play on my own. After I'm done with uh, this let's play, obviously. But I'm not seeing any options. Okay, game. All right, all right. Switch, resume game, additional content. All right, I think this is for like making uploads and stuff. Okay, I can. I need to do that later. I need to go to the store later because I need to uh, put in the code for the pre-order. And god damn it! <laughs> all right, 
I got put in the cup for the pre-order, for the family kickback, and for my season pass, which I don't need to do right now. All right, so I'm having issues trying to find. All right, so collection, journal, assets, kill list, map, the game. Resume game, load checkpoint, switch profile, restart game. All right. Game, okay. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, master volume, cinematic volume. Okay, we want the music volume. Nope, nope. Ma master volume, this can go down. We're turning the, the radio down. Dialogues, okay. S dynamic range, high. All right, so I think this will make sure that we don't have any music on, hopefully. If not, then I'm screwed. <laughs> so we got master volume, dialogue, sound effects, cinematics, and dynamic. Okay, let's do this. Time to play some Mafia 3. Been waiting six long years since the end of the first Mafia, I mean the second Mafia game. Let's go. Okay, Georgie. Shut up. I know your dad's a mob boss, but man, you're pushy. Very pushy. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, no, this is not Grand Theft Auto. You have to use different buttons. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. What'd you just do, Go Burns? Hit the Y button and not the uh, X button. All right. Start, damn you. All right, off we go. I think we're down in the bayou. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. The ability to... Easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. I wouldn't dream of that. Poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer yeah. this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. <laughs> Are you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quangnai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some Goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. Not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. The fuck, Georgie? <laughs> uh. All right, so so far, you know, it's pretty. It's very pretty. I, I just, I'm just so tempted to go drive around the districts and just do whatever the fuck I want to do. And I'm halfway tempted to turn the mirror off. Because I consider that kind of annoying. I mean, it's kind of cool to have the mirror as a feature so you can see who's behind you. But I do believe you can turn the mirror off if you want to. So I might end up doing that. I won't do it right now, though. I'll, I'll wait a second and go back into the um, options menu and remove it. Because I consider it kind of a distraction. I don't really think it's necessary. Plus, it adds a little something-something to the game, I think. Makes it a little bit more challenging because you don't know who the fuck's behind you. And that's the way it was with the first Mafia game. When I played it on PC in 2002, that's the way it was with Mafia 2. Whenever I, you know, played it originally in 2010 when it first came out. And most recently, you know, with my uh, Mafia 2 Let's Play. 
By the way, you can always go back and check out my Mafia 2 Let's Play playlist if you feel so inclined. But there was no mirror. Uh-uh. We didn't have mirrors. <laughs> no luxuries. So I think I'm going to turn that off in just a second. I'll turn it off at the next stoplight. All right, I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I did try change the uh, driving from normal to simulation, which I think simulation, from what I remember in an interview, is like the most like closest to how it was in Mafia 2. Like normal, I think, is easier. I don't want it easy. Actually, I put it on medium. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want it too hard either, okay? <laughs> But anyways, I heard there was a way to turn the fucking mirror off. So I'll have to figure that out either uh, in between uh, episode one and two or sometime because it is kind of distracting. I guess eventually you get used to it. But to be honest, I don't really need it. I'm not really a fan of the mirror. But yeah, that mirror is going away. I'm going to say goodbye to it soon. The speedometer I kind of... I don't know, I kind of sort of get the speedometer because we had a speedometer in the first two Mafia games. But the big reason why there was a speedometer in the first two Mafia games is because... I won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Okay. Well, I don't really care what the Federal Reserve thinks. Them and their fiat currency. Anyway, so... Yeah, what we're saying. Oh, yeah. Well, the reason why there were, um, you know, the speedometers in the first two games is because he's worth a fuck. Okay, calm down, Lincoln. It'll be worth it, hopefully. All right, so I think we're here. But anyways, in the first two mafia games, you get pulled over for speeding, and apparently you don't have to get pulled over for speeding in Mafia Three. So I guess that's kind of cool. All right, so here we are. We made it to the Federal Reserve. Hello. How's it going? Back it up to the loading dock. All right. Here we go. Heading back to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about. Let's get our hands on that money. Well, Georgie, you know, you could be a stand-up guy and, and not go along with it and say, look, man, that's not nice. He served our country. That's when we make our move. All right. All right, let's go. I just think it's wrong. Here we go. But... And we go. Up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's that shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. That's not nice. I served my country, asshole. Did you go to Nam? No. Dickhead. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the... Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Because uh, your freaking skinny ass can't carry shit. Small bills, mostly. Ain't in shape. You probably couldn't even carry a six-pack. It's not his fault, you know. Yeah, he's all... Oh, I don't know. All right, so which way are we going? Man, those bags are heavy. We need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Okay. Buying yeah, rooms we're in training. The this way. <laughs> I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. <sighs> Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. And that old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. 
Racist. Oh, well, it's 1968. What do you expect? <laughs> okay, let's go. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. I want some of that gold. I want it. We are. Well, it's about fucking time. These bags are heavy. I know you guys don't care. Racist. Put those bags on the table there. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. All right. One bag and two bags. Figured it'd be bigger. That gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy coming around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Good night! Ow! God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Yeah, he was. Me and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> what a dickhead. All right, so I, if I want to, I can pick him up and move him. Take care of those guys. I'll leave him right there. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck All I'm right. doing. Yeah, I know what to do. Uh, the hell happened? <laughs> uh, did it just freeze? That's not good. <laughs> oh, come on. It froze. <laughs> Damn it. All right. So the good news is, despite the fact that there was an issue, I don't know what the deal was, at least there's checkpoints, you know. It, it's like auto-saving. So I didn't really have to really do anything. You know, I had to restart the game, obviously. Well... Close the game and reopen it. Duh. But I didn't have to, you know, play anything else up to this point. So, let's sneak over here and try to get this guy. Crouch. Now, come on, Lincoln. Dude, come on. Okay, crouch. There we go. Alright, take cover. Alright, sweet. Gotcha. <laughs> nice. That's uh, awesome. John starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how we're supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Gotcha. <laughs> Silent takedown. Nice, nice. Uh, I'll be uh, picking up the uh, firearm. Thank Link, you. Get over here, man. Hold on, I'm picking up some weapons. Calm down. All right. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where did Georgie go? Georgie! There you are, Georgie. What's up? Up. Get, get up, Lincoln. I need to get this bolt open. Okay, calm the fuck down, G. Oh, I hope this combination skeleton got us. This is legit. I hope so, too. Better be the right combination. Oh, we're screwed. Royally screwed. That's it. Take it nice and easy. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Uh, I am Godzilla! Well, at least he didn't say King Kong. That might have been taken as racist if you would have said that. Between the two, Godzilla's my fave. Right, let's do this. Shit. Money, 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 money. Beautiful. Dead presidents. All right. That's right. Give me some money. Give me all the greens. All the Benjamins. All the Jacksons. Give me the 20s, the 10s. Aw, what the fuck? You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right. Hold up Georgie. Until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off? 
We'll see, Georgie. We'll see. Okay, let's uh, do this. To defend Georgie. Right, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Okay, okay. this works. Right. Right, where are they at? Where are they at? Fuck you, bitch! Damn! I suck. Little rusty since my days in Nam, you know? Fuck you. I'm already out of bullets in my other gun. That's bullshit. Alright, let me move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Down, down, down. Alright. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Right in your head, motherfuckers. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm. S oh, what the fuck? I'm out of bullets. No! No! Okay, okay, I know about my. Georgie! Georgie! Help me! Georgie! Georgie! Alright. Reload. I need to reload. Reload. God damn it. Ah! I just want to re- I'm, I'm pressing the fucking X button. There we go. I know you guys are getting salty me in Mafia 2 whenever I wasn't reloading. But, you know, I, I guess there really was no excuse there. Okay, aim assist. Okay, okay, whatever. Fuck you. Alright, alright. I want this shotgun. Give me that shotgun. I'll tear some shit up. I'm gonna blast some motherfuckers. Alright, alright. What we got still? Bust the door open. I'll watch our ass. Alright. Alright, stop sliding. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how to play this game. Alright, alright. I'm just picking up ammo. Pry open the armory gate. Okay, let's do this. Okay. No. Which way to the... I'm coming, Georgie. God damn you. Be patient. Give me that damn thing. Damn, Georgie took it to the face. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, poor Georgie. <laughs> took it to your face. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think you were supposed to wait till it glows. Okay. Okay, no. Fuck, okay, how you do this? Uh, I should have paid attention. I was too busy laughing at, at Georgie Evan. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, got it. Okay, that was a little tricky. I must admit. I need. I need. Uh, I need this. Yes. Yes. This will work nicely. Is there any other toys? Oh, I need some. I need some. Some goods. Yep. I'll take some of that. And. Uh, any uh, loose cash? Well, we get, we're getting plenty of cash, so we don't really need that, do we? Is that it? Okay, we're going in. Eat with the smoke. I'm coming, Georgie. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Yeah, just stay down, Georgie. Wouldn't want Sal to lose his only boy. Uh oh, here it comes. All over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. Well, you know, we appreciate it. <laughs> So we're going backwards in time? The fuck? <laughs> Alright, so this is when Lincoln you just come first gets Virginia. home from Nam. That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't. They don't get it. <sighs> Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Uh, thanks. Ooh, look at that sexy thing. Hey, it's Ellis! Oh, sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked <laughs> off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh. 
How was the trip? Be as how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. Oh. Right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I hope that went into a garbage bin, Lincoln. Littering's a crime, sir. Alright, so this is his car. Because, see, at first I assumed that this was Ellis's ride, and eventually Lincoln gets a hold of it, but I was wrong. Obviously. Okay, close this. I don't... I know. I know where to go. Alright, set the route. Okay, so that's how we do it. we got to go to the map, and we're going to go all the way over here, and boom! Easy enough. You didn't know they had GPS back in 1968, did you? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Yeah, I know. He doesn't need to be like that, though. He needs to calm down and relax. I saw way worse over in the jungles than Nah, man. I saw things you wouldn't believe, Alice. Crazy things, man. Crazy shit. So, man. What I saw is nothing. You know. Okay, police awareness. Okay, so we don't want the cops to be uh, giving us too much of a stink eye, so we're going to be careful. You remember Marty we want to drive all nice and friendly. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say sure. Free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, heroin was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. They wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, Ouch. I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat. Fuck out of here. ain't the kitty pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I gotta lay low. All right, I gotta stop the cops. I don't know if the cops will do anything if I run that red light. But apparently they won't do shit if you speed now, which is interesting. I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great aunt Beatrice? Oh, I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? That woman the droopiest, nastiest tits I've I don't need to know about this. Shut up, Ellis. There were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing. God, it won't that stop. Was a fucking accident. Hey man, I'm gonna be sick. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact, she got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around, asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> oh, fuck you. What That's you see, sweet. man, one look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys never change. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's 1968, 88, or 2008, or eventually 2018. 
Guys never change, right? <laughs> anyway, so this is cool. I'm excited. I've been waiting for quite some time to dive into Mafia 3. And by the way, we're playing on the Xbox One. Originally, I was going to play on the PlayStation 4, but uh, I started having some minor issues with my PS4. Kind of got me a little concerned, and then I uh, went to uh, one store and they were going to do a midnight release and the original store I pre-ordered from wasn't going to do a midnight release so I thought to myself you know what I think I'm just going to go with the other store that's going to do a midnight release so I don't have to you know get up early in the morning on Friday and go pick up the game I can go ahead and play it you know Thursday evening into Friday morning so that's just the way it is you know I got hooked the midnight release is just something I've been spoiled with when it comes to video games. I mean, especially since, obviously, this is a very important game that I cover on the channel. Obviously, I wanted a freaking midnight release. Alright, so we're here. We made it to Sammy's. Nice. Very nice. Bam. That was a good part. Alright. We might it. Alright, let's get out. It's not exactly the best one. See, I'm, I'm trying to get used to, like, the way it's set up. Oh, come on. I like the back door. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Hello? That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. Okay. I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Whiskey. I'm more of a hard cider guy. So good. <laughs> hey, it's Father James. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Yeah. Man. We all gotta walk through the door. Boy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. 
Man, Ellis, you just don't even know, man. You just don't even know! That war tore me the fuck up. Charlie everywhere. In the jungle. Fighting just to survive. Watching my brothers being blasted to bits. Man. Really fucked me up. Is there any cool stuff down here? Man, there's some uh, nice kegs. I wonder if any of this is like Angry Orchard or Strongbow. Ah, uh, it's probably like... I don't even know if hard cider was a thing back in the late 60s. Oh well. But you know, for a guy that had a lot to drink, you know, Lincoln isn't exactly wobbling. <laughs> yeah, they could be like wobbling and stumbling all over the place. Because <laughs> he had a few shots, but maybe he's a guy that knows how to handle his liquor. Okay, so let's go to bed. Let's call it a night. And it luxury accommodations. I'm just, ooh, oh, 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 Playboy, Playboy. See, I'm going to do a better job finding the Playboys than I did in Mafia 2. Okay, so brace yourself. I may have to censor this scene. Uh, can I see it? No? It won't even, oh, uh, that's bullshit. Let's, fuck it, I'm going to look at it. Uh, okay, we'll go to collection. All right. View the collection. All right, let's see the first one. That's like rated PG right there. That's not even anywhere close to anything naughty. Man, that's a, that that just better be like like some of the first Playboys you collect in Mafia too. And they better get uh, friendlier. Oh, there's a pinup. There's a pinup. I think this is a collector's too. Yep, that's a collector's. Because uh, I like me some pinups. We're going to check out the pinups. So these are two different things you can collect in the game. Well, several things. Uh, Playboy. Uh, the Varguses. Look at that. Let's check this out. Uh, come on. Oh. Oh, well, I had to censor that. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> the irony. I didn't have to censor the Playboys. But I had to censor the, the Vargas pinup girl. <laughs> <laughs> that that's funny <laughs> oh well <laughs> okay so is there anything else i can check out no yes all right so uh it's been a long day it's time to get some rest down here in the basement get some sleep as time progresses in the del rey hollow at sammy's man hopefully we got a good night's sleep all right uh-oh. You alright, Lincoln? You're probably having some bad dreams. He probably was. He's probably, like, having, like, visions of Nam and shit. You know? You know, the war will never leave him. You know, even though he left the war, the war's still there. That's just the way it was. And that's the way it is, unfortunately. Alright, so... How do we get back upstairs? Uh, here we go. Alright. Up we go. So we to run. Nope. I guess I haven't learned how to run yet. That's all good. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. 
Okay, well, I'll be back later, Sammy. Langan, a couple times once he was faced back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Yep. Loyal Lincoln, as they used to call him. Actually, I don't even know if that's what they called him. But anyway, so we got some issues with the Haitians. You know, we're not exactly getting along with them. And why can't we all just get along, you know? I don't know. I just don't get it. Well, the most likely. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Can I uh, serve myself first? I want some gumbo. What kind of gumbo? Is it like crawfish gumbo? Is it like uh, chicken and uh, sausage gumbo? Is it uh, like uh, crab gumbo? I love me some gumbo. I do. Okay, uh... Where did I go to serve? Oh, I go right here. Okay. Hey, you want some gumbo? Mmm, delicious gumbo. Yes, Lincoln. Yes, sir. I will. Enjoy your gumbo. Man, it looks good. It smells pretty good too. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. All right. Here we go. More gumbo for you. Enjoy it. You're welcome. Hello, ma'am. Would you like some gumbo? This is what this game's all about, by the way. You just you serve people gumbo. And eventually, you can serve people etouffee and and po boys. I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Yeah, so that that's what really this game's all about. It's about you you know, feeding people and, and helping people out. You know. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Man, what's wrong with him? Hey, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be... Uh, what the fuck is this about? With the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got trouble! Run, Regine! Get away from me! We're done with you, Lincoln! Sammy's dead! Hey! Vault cover. Okay. This game keeps freezing. This is officially bullshit, by the way. Gumbo, I'll give you some gumbo. Here, have some gumbo. Oh All right, jump, jump, and it's froze again. Okay, so this has happened a bazillion times so far. No matter how many times I restart the game, it just keeps happening. Say la fucking V. Father James, I've been serving these folks gumbo over and over and over again. It's fucking Groundhog Day. The game keeps freezing when the fucking Haitians show up. So, uh, no. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to go and, I don't know, goof off. All right, so this is, I would say, unfortunate. And I, I'm to say that I'm uh, disappointed is kind of an understatement because there was also like a 2 gig patch that downloaded... Uh, before the game installed and honestly I just I don't know what the deal is and from what I've been told I've been talking to some people some of you guys on the Xbox Live and uh, some of you have been telling me that you're hearing stories about the game crashing as well and I really can't go any further right now I don't know why it's crashing and I wish I could continue to play the game at the moment I'd love nothing more than to continue playing this game. I've been waiting 
Six years since the end of Mafia 2. And obviously, most of us have been waiting over the past year since the revealed trailer. We've been really excited for Mafia 3. But at the moment, I am having issues advancing any further in the game. I had some problems with the Federal Reserve, but I was able to get past that. But for some reason, I continue to serve gumbo to people. And then Regine shows up, and then the Haitian shows up, and then the game freezes. It fucking sucks. And I sincerely hope that a patch or a fix or something is coming soon. Hopefully Hangar 13's hearing about this. Because I don't think I'm the only one having this problem. And it sucks because I'm a big supporter of, of their work. And this is their very first video game. And for it to be crashing like this. And maybe it's only happening on the Xbox One. I know a lot of people are not happy about the fact that it's stuck at 30 frames a second right now on PC. Even though they're working on that as well. So, maybe it's only a few people. You know what? I sincerely hope that I'm one of the few people that this is happening to. And that a lot of others are enjoying the game so far. But at the moment, I'm not. I hate to say that, but I'm really not enjoying the game because it keeps freezing on me. So, we'll try it one more time. And if it freezes again, I'm just going to wrap up the video. And then, I'm going to have to wait until the game gets patched in order to continue. So let's go in, let's feed some gumbo to these less fortunates that are just looking for a bite. Something to eat to fill their bellies. Thank you. Yes, sir. There you go. Enjoy your gumbo, sir. You've had like several bowls already. Yeah, you're not fooling me. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shot. Fucking Bill Murray and Groundhog Day, man. I've done this a bazillion times. I must be a gumbo pouring Thanks. superstar by now. I'm a pro when it comes to the gumbo. All right, have some gumbo. There you go. You delivering a real blessing here, Link. I knew you were gonna say that. Blessings. I knew it. All right, he's gonna he's gonna give me a hard time about. Got you yeah. I'm happy to do it. See, I knew he was gonna say that too, and she's gonna say something about not growing old because it's a it's a shit something. See. I've been here before. It's it's Groundhog Day. But I'm trapped in this area. I can't run around. I can't escape. It's worse than Groundhog Day. Don't get old, son. See? It's a what I say. And then Regine's going to gonna walk up, and her hot self, and then she's going to flirt with me, and I'm going to flirt with her, then the Haitians are going to show up. I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes. See? I told you! Well, be it's fucking Groundhog Day, man! Stop by. All right, please don't crash. We got trouble. Run, Regine. All right, Asians, come here. I got some gumbo for you. All right, I'm not going to touch anything. Okay, I'm not touching anything. All right, I didn't touch a damn thing. It froze again. Okay, so I completely restarted the game up to this point in the hopes of somehow not going through what I've been going through with the quote-unquote gumbo glitch or the gumbo crash or the gumbo freeze. So let's do this one more time in the hopes that maybe restarting the game will allow me... Give me my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Uh, well, give me my best and hope that maybe, just maybe, I'll be blessed... With no crashing this time because... Warm heart. Oh, sure. Yeah, and a, a warm hope that restarting the game will avert Thanks. any crash issues. Hopefully. Of course, like I said... Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Like I said, you know, some people have already told me that there's been crash issues, and I'm just hoping that I can continue the Let's Play. Blessing you, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. We'll see. A couple of days back and they already got you working? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already working. You think they just let me relax and take it easy, you know? I was over there in the jungles of Nam. All of us. But nope, no rest for the weary. You know what? Your line is my favorite, lady. I love your line the best. Don't get old, son. <laughs> it's a fucking shit show. <laughs> 
I'll see what I can do about that. And here she comes. Da -da -da. Are you raging? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see you. All right, come on, again. please. Well, they'll be over. Please do not freeze on me again. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got trouble. Run, raging. Oh, we got trouble if it freezes. Come on, come on, don't freeze, don't freeze. All right. <laughs> It froze again. Well, that is uh, it for now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this Mafia 3 Let's Play because uh, that's how it ends. Not with a bang. Not with a whimper. But with yet another crash. Hangar 13, I sincerely hope you fix this issue. Until you do, unfortunately, I cannot continue to play Mafia 3. So once Hangar 13 fixes this crash issue that's going on in Mafia 3 right now, I'll be able to continue playing Mafia 3, which whether it's a, a day from now or a week from now, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to just take it easy and not do shit. You know, fuck my life. I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm just going to rant right here. Um, you know, so I've been waiting for Mafia 3 to come out since the end of Mafia 2. And I've been waiting for Mafia 3, you know, over the past year since the reveal trailer. I've been looking forward to it, just like so many of you others out there. And for this to happen is very, very disappointing to say the least. And hopefully... This is only happening to a few of the gamers out there, and everyone else is able to enjoy the game crash-free, freeze-free. But from what I've been told, it's not just happening to me. It's happening to other gamers and other uh, content creators as well, which I think royally sucks. So, hopefully, there will be more episodes of my Mafia 3 Let's Play as soon as Hangar 13 fixes this issue. 